Ladies and gents, welcome back. A little bit of heartwarming news from our neighbors down to the south. You call it America. We call it the states. Get used to it. This is our vernacular. <laughs> You're watching Canadian news coverage here. Uh, we have Representative Harrell inter introducing some legislation. She put out a tweet saying Justin Trudeau's heavy-handed crackdown against peaceful protesters in Canada is not the action of a Western democracy, but the but that of an authoritarian regime like Venezuela. She continued on. By the way, she was showing a, a clip from Fox News, Tucker Carlson's coverage of the Freedom Convoy protest in Ottawa. Just as we provide asylum for political prisoners, we should do the same for truckers who have been suspected, or sorry, who have been subjected to violence had their property confiscated and their bank accounts frozen by a government that is quickly becoming the embarrassment of the free world. I'm introducing legislation that would temporarily grant asylum to innocent Canadian protesters who are being persecuted by their own government. We cannot be silent as our neighbors to the north are treated so badly and well how badly are they being treated well we can see here in this uh video here this is uh this morning police tried to trespass on the iconic cafe downtown ottawa now they are closed they even tried to open the door illegally but they couldn't police are still outside the cafe the reason why they're trying to enter this cafe is because these are the owners of the iconic cafe Enrico and Deborah Kun. They have been open for business during the Freedom Convoy when the other businesses were up. told to close. When other businesses were told to close at the time, uh, they remained open. Now they want to put them so, uh, they want to put them in jail for serving the truckers. They said they will not give in. What they do is for their country and freedom all over the world. Yes, the um, what is seemingly the Gestapo outside of their residence or outside of their, their shop, place of business, coming in to harass them over uh, serving truckers in a time that, and it wasn't, it wasn't against, they weren't, uh, businesses, just for the record, weren't told not to open. They were recommended not to open. There's a difference there. In case anyone was wondering, so uh, the congresswoman went on to Fox News, and this is what she had to say. Um, I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, I just interviewed somebody who was an eyewitness um, there at the at the convoy protest and said that he believes that they are using police brutality to yeah. incite and provoke the uh, truckers in order to justify this crackdown on their rights to protest and oppose the government. Right, you, absolutely. You couldn't be more correct. And actually, to see uh, Trudeau introducing this Emergencies Act, this is way out of line, and it is. It's heavy-handed, it's a crackdown, and issues like this do not deserve or warrant what he's trying to do. And they haven't invoked something this serious since World War One, World War Two. And truly, this is an attack on those who want to peacefully protest and protect, really, at the end of the day, our freedom. So you're offering asylum. What does that look like? Or your bill so, will? Yeah. So the language in the bill is offering temporary asylum, just as we do uh, political asylum for those from Venezuela and other countries. And what it would do is let's give them asylum. Let's protect them from their heavy-handed government. This is ridiculous to see their bank accounts being frozen, their assets being frozen. It makes no sense. But let's provide temporary asylum until their government will stop using this Emergencies Act and, and threatening these peaceful protesters. Now, that's amazing, amazing news out of the United States. And thank you, Congresswoman, for sticking up for uh, people's right to petition the government, and assemble. Uh, this is warm welcome news. I'm going to leave the link to that uh, video in the description down below so you can check it out in its entirety. Uh, but also more, more great scenes from the States, as we call it here in Canada. This is the Freedom Convoy in solidarity with Canada in Montana right now. They have been... <laughs> I've not seen this video before, and I'm assuming it's today. 
Uh, but yeah, it's a very long convoy, and you'll see, notice on there, something in particular. Yes, a lot of Canadian flags. This is in solidarity with Canadians protesting heavy-handed government measures. Uh, again, when protesting overreach, what does the government do? It says, hold my beer. We're going to overreach some more. Thank you, <laughs> gents, ladies and gents, down in the States. And as always, keep on trucking.